This is Yang Trader, now the pits closed at 2.30, that's about 15 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. And remember, at crude oil, the API report will be out today at 4.30, and then at 10.30 tomorrow morning on Wednesday will be the EIA report for the old crude scheme. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy or sell any stock on ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right. Here we have crude oil, your daily, your weekly, and your monthly chart. All right, crude oil, absolute great trading day today. Okay, UCO uh, got as low as um, 32, uh, 31. I'm in there at 32.40 uh, uh, from pre-market. I sold out. I had 5,000 shares. I sold out um, uh, 3,000 shares at uh, 33.80. So I'm still holding 2,000 shares. I'm going to see what's going to happen here at this 8 SMA, which we're coming very, very close. So very, very good day of trading here today. So let's look at the chart. Let's start looking here at the monthly. Now, we got obviously plenty of time to go. It's only the 23rd on the month here, but we're looking very, very good. Now, what I'm always pointing out here is when you look at this monthly chart, you see this W pattern? See, this is very, very nice. Now, again, if you can get above this key level here, that 9503, she can rip up very, very much higher. But first of all, we have a lot of resistance. In between, we have this 90 area, okay, and then we have the 95. But the W pattern is very, very good. The key is what happens if, you know, when it gets up to this area, is it going to come back down again, or is she going to blast right on up? Okay, now your uh, green is still blowing your red, but it's getting very, 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 very curious here to see if she can rally on up. And you're holding these key levels here, okay? So you're holding at 79.96, and we're holding this key 21 day at 79.38. Very, very nice here on your monthly chart. Now, let's go over here to the old daily. Okay, daily chart here, very, very nice. What we had here today, we had a higher low. That's why I got in. We had a low yesterday, bottoming tail, but today we had a higher low. Tells me you want to get in. Then once you start crawling about the 50 day, she's in here nicely. Now I kept on raising my stops. I use stop losses. That way it takes it, you know, right on down. So as that UCO was moving up, okay, it was in that 32.40, and I put in like a, a 38, uh, 32.90 stop. I kept the stop about 20 cents away, but I was always in the profit, uh, okay, always in the profit. Then I just kept raising the stop. I kept about 20 cents there below because it was very volatile there today. So then I say I decided just to sell out at 30, uh, uh, 33 um, uh, 80. So I got a uh, dollar 40, uh, yeah, dollar uh, 40 on uh, 3,000 shares. Very good. I'm still holding the 2,000 shares here. So I'm going to see what happens tonight when these futures open. What we're going to look at if we can break above that 50 day, then our eight estimate here, then you know she can go higher right to that 21 day. But the key is going to be what's going to happen when it gets there. Now we're just about right there. So as this futures open, this eight estimate is going to come down. So we might set a lower low. Then what I'll do is I'll dump that 2,000 shares and I'll wait. Maybe she'll come on all the way on down. Now, again, say it rallies up here. So we have that eight estimate, 8360, very, very key. Right above is your 21 day at 8425. Okay. Very, very crucial level. So again, if you can get above that, now look how that is curling up. Then you want to look right to the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 8475. On top of here, you're looking at 85.51, and then we look here at the old sticky at 85.64, okay? Now, if this happens to start rallying up here, here's what you want to look at. 86.11, and then we'll come right up here to 86.18. We just follow the candle, 86.38, and then you have uh, 86.63. Uh, we have 86.98, uh, 87.11, uh, and then we have 87.22. And then you have your big retest up here at 87.67. Now, I always like to show you where it could possibly go because if it explodes above this 8-day, closes above, explodes above that 21-day, then it's going to rip here much higher and retest at 87.67. Now, again, if that is, uh, say that 87.67 is taken out, then we look to the top here, looking at 87.83, and then we have 88.29, uh, and then we're going to look right there. Okay, this is 89, 85, let's call that 90 bucks. That is gonna be your big target if you can break above that 87, 67. And then, ratchet right on up, okay, 91, 23, 91, 88, 92, 43, and then we have your top here at 95, 03, let's call that 95. So your big targets, uh, if you can close above that 90, 87, 67, is gonna be 90 and 95. That's what you're looking for, but again, 
you got to get above this key 8 SMA, which is a brick wall, and that 21 SMA. Okay, now RSI curling up very, very nicely here. And it looks like your MACD wants to curl up here. We got to see it's still below. And then I just don't never like it here when we have it below that 8 SMA here because it's going to run right on up here. Look what happened here. Okay, and then boom, you got to close. The key is close above. Now, say she comes flying right on down. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to watch the top of this candle. That's 82.84. We look to the bottom of this candle, 82.55, and then we'll come right over here to the top of this candle, and you're looking at 82.29. Right below that, you have your 50 SMA, 81.16. We have your price channel sitting at 80.55, 80, uh, which is that candle, the bottom of that candle right there, and then you have 79.88, uh, which is your 200 SMA. Obviously, below that, you have 7871, and then we have 7765. Again, I like to point everything out here for you just in case it's hammer time and it starts losing. These are your key support levels here on the chart. Now, I don't think it's going to get there. You're right in here in the summer, the seasonality here going to Memorial Day, so, you know, 4th of July, and then August, very volatile month because you got that hurricane season coming in there. Okay, and that Labor Day all connected in there, very, very volatile here. But again, today, what you want to watch is when those futures open at 6 p.m., uh, you want to watch that key 8 SMA here. That's going to be very, very critical. If you can get above, then watch that 21 day. If not, we watch all these key support levels here and then until you hit that 50 day. But this is a real nice, good sideways action. We've got to see how it's all going to shake out here. Now, here are weekly. This is looking really good because now we're holding here. Now you're above that 82.55 and you're above that key uh, 82.02. Very, very nice. Again, we've got to be able to hold it and then you can have a nice good shot going right up much higher. Okay, let's take a look here and see what's going on with natural gas. Okay, now natural gas started off real slow. I scalped the UNG, okay, uh, the ETF. You can also use BOIL. You can use KOL there for the short. I didn't see any really short trade when you look at risk reward. I'm sure it might have been a penny or two. It's just not worth my time, okay? Uh, but UNG, very nice. I scaled 15 cents a start. Then it came down. I rebought it at 15 cents, and then I, I raised I had a stop going at 15.05, and then I just keep raising my stop right on up. So UNG right now, I have a stop at 15.25. So I already made 15 cents. I'm guaranteed another 25 cents, okay, on the trade. So I'm trading 5,000 shares. But right now I'm still holding the UNG. I'm going to see how this is going to shake out here uh, at the end of the day, okay? So I'm holding 5,000 uh, uh, shares. But I already made the 15 cents on 5,000 shares. So that gives me something in the natural gas, and I have a stop at 15.25, okay? So always use stops. I limit myself to maybe 1% to 3% at the most, okay? Um, raise to keep raising those stops up as the price going up. But when that, when you deal with crude and natural gas, leave those stops a little bit loose because a lot of times you can stop out and boom, she just rallies up and then you're kicking yourself in the OS. So you don't want to do that. Now I pointed out today, possible left shoulder, head. It's not really great, and then right shoulder. It had to get above and close above that uh, 1808. Well, obviously it did, okay? So now we're looking here really good. So now we can just start looking over to these levels, okay? So what do we have next? You got that 1.864. <clears throat> we'll come right over here to the top of this level, 1.88. Then we have this level. You're looking at uh, 1.92, and then we have 1.94 as your retest, okay? So once we can break above this here, I think you can go to that 1.943 very, very easily. This here on your four hour chart, very, very nice here. Now, again, if you're trading or you're saying you're scalping a trade like what I do, use a tick chart, a one and a five minute chart. If you wanna slow the trade down, you can use a 15 minute and a 30 minute chart, okay? Then I always look at an hourly and a four hour chart. But always, I mean always at the end of the day, look at a daily, look at a weekly and look at a monthly chart to get the bigger picture of what's really going on. Okay, so this chart here is looking really good. Looks like we got a good breakout going here. So let's just see if we can rally to all these levels and hit that 1.943. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, your weekly is lining up here very, very nice. Let me bigger up a little bit. Okay, what we had here is you had the three reds right into it. When you get price gets below that eight simple moving averages, then it's very, very tough. When it gets above that, then she can float pretty good. Now. Last week here, what we had, we had like a bottoming tail. Now, so far, we have a nice green candle. But again, it's only Tuesday. So by Friday, you want to hold whatever the price is. 
It was this morning. It was one point. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, seven four nine or seven four eight. But now it's one point seven five two. So you want to hold whatever that eight simple moving average by Friday. You really want to close above. That's going to be very very key to take it higher. Okay, so that's what we're looking at now. Your MACD here looks like it's just ready to cross over. The green goes above the red. Then we have like we have a scenario here. Then we just have a nice good uprise going up higher. So that shows like positive momentum to the upside. Uh, RSI here looking very, very good. Got plenty of room there to run. Now here, daily chart, which is always very, very critical. When you look at this chart, I like it because you got a low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Very, very nice. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out. So what we had here is you had uh, uh, two reds and three greens. Two reds, three greens, two reds. And then we had an indecision candle here. Both of these came in on a Friday. Didn't know what to do. And then we had this contract roll that came in. Okay, so we had a couple of down days here going here. I mean, a uh, contract rolling coming here. But I say a couple of down days going here. Then we had some really nice updates. But what I like about this is, see these topping tails? See that? When you have that, that means that these resistance levels are very, very tough. So it goes up above and then closes below, up above. But look at the last yesterday's candle. It was different, okay? So you had a bottoming tail, okay, instead of a topping tail. And now look at today. We have a nice higher high with another bottoming tail. So let's just look at the downside first. Here's your key support levels right here. 1.777, very, very key. Next level is 1.756. And then we have your eight day at 1.747. Very, very key levels of support. But if you look at this eight SMA here, see how she's rolling up? She looks like she wants to wind up just like we had here. And then once you can stay above, it'll take that price tag higher. So this is what we got here, 1.823. It broke out of this kind of a double top situation. See, 1.80, 1.80. And now she's above there at 1.828. Very, very nice. Next level you're looking at is 1.85, then we're looking at 1.89, and then we're looking at 1.924, and then here it is, that retest at 1.943. Okay, above, you can, you can follow these candles, 1.95, 1.98, but this is what you're looking for right here is that 2.0. Very, very nice. Now, again, if this could rally up and break through there and get to that 2.0 level here, then our next big target here is going to be this 21-day at 2.12, which will make natural gas rip up pretty good. And then right above that, you have 2.146, that uh, key 100 SMA here. So actually this chart is looking very good. Now we've already had here five good days of green candles. Very, very nice. So we've got to see how this is all going to shake up. Now seasonality really is in favor right now of natural gas starting to run up. Okay. So, but for me, I'm still just scalping it with the UNG working out very, very good. OK, so let's just see how it all shakes out. Now, watch those futures when they open up at 6 p.m. OK, to see where natural gas is going to go. Is it going to hold these key support levels here to 21 to 50 and 8 or, uh, you know, or is it going to uh, go below? And can you break this high of 1.828? If you can, we can look to the left. But really, your target is going to be 1.943. OK, that's what I got for you on crude and natural gas. I'll be back tomorrow morning uh, before 8 o'clock and we'll do it all over again. Okay, thanks for watching.